How are you doing there, pal? How is they doing, lad? I'm all right. <laughs> what are you getting up to? We're on a little walk. All right, but you're... Just like exploration, not far. Just uh, along the disused railway line, through yeah. town. Might stop and get a pie. <laughs> you getting a beer on the way? Oh, yes. <laughs> Have you got that flask in you? Flask? Your, your little hip flask? No, not today. I see you've got yours. <laughs> no, that, that hip flask is at home. I'll be using it tomorrow. We're just coming into Ashton Indoor Market now, and if you look, there's that pie shop. Minced beef and mushy peas and more. Hey, Wayne. All, All right, right Pete. Pete. Good little fly past. like it's raining now. I have to stay for another. Yeah, could I have a pint of this? Kai Bosch. Yeah, please look. Right, so here we go. It stopped raining. I've had two pints. And they were both like, well, I got the same pint, 5.9%. So I'm ready to rock and roll now. So there's a bit of Ashton. I might do a little a little vlog, a little blog on the town. Because it's uh it's my town where I was born. Look. Oops. Here's the train station. So this walk's gonna be a local walk. And I'm going to head towards Oldham along an old disused railway line. Um, and it starts kind of behind the back of Ashton train station, just under that bridge. Quite a nice specimen. I think they've been eating mainly grass. No, um, Minced beef and mushy pea pies there, I don't think. No evidence.
So this is Alt Hill Lane and uh, well This is the old cow sheds or what's left of them but uh, my friend Richard this is all his land here I think he's got about five acres and uh, this was the old chicken hut and now it's obviously accommodation some property and uh, I spent most of my childhood here so Pickford Hall that was the the old farmhouse. I used to sleep there at weekends with my friend Richard. His dad had this farm here, a dairy farm. Here's the old, uh, the old bits that are left of it. I don't know. It's there was cow sheds, a big barn. He used to swing and play. Many a happy time here. It's lovely growing up here. Obviously, it was. Uh, sort of fall into bits it was in, in disrepair and and then somebody bought it and did it up and now it's a lovely a lovely dwelling it was a listed property but I think uh, they kind of let it you know sort of pushed it over a bit over the time and then they managed to rebuild it as it is now but uh, yeah I mean look I don't know what's in there I can't really tell but Kind of, Rich will probably know what that is. What to send it to? Mm. Yeah, so many lovely memories. Yeah, it was my friend from my friend from school, from junior school, and then we went on to secondary school. And I've known him since I was five years old. He had three sisters. And that was his dad's farm. I think they'd had it in the family for 100 years. I think they, they had a lease on it for like 99 years or something. And sadly, Richard's dad died and he carried it on and until the 99 year lease thing was up. And I think that's what it was. I don't know, I'll have to ask him again, but I think that's pretty much what it was. And so now they, because of that, they, they've got so much land with it, but you know, it's a sort of green belt area, so there's not a lot they can do with it, really. But it's on this path, this old dis disused railway line, which is obviously, this was um, a bridge that they took down now. So I'm going to carry on now to Park Bridge from Ashton. It's starting to rain quite a bit now. It's only a bit of a drizzle. Anyway, yeah, this is a bit of a like um, a trip down memory lane, really, because uh, this is where I kind of grew up. So I'm going to take you to Park Bridge, which is an old little mining village in between Ashton and Oldham. We're going to come up to it pretty soon. And uh, I used to, when I was a young kid, a young sprog, I used to meet Richard stay the night and then we'd, we'd get up in the morning, have breakfast and we'd uh, trundle off to Park Bridge to the old mine. We'd, there was an old post office there which is just a house now and uh, we'd fill up our pockets with sweets and stuff, chocolates and all that and we'd walk to the old mine and we'd sit on there and we'd just shoot the breeze and you know eat our toffees and uh, really happy memories actually. So uh, I suppose this is a little bit of a trip down Nostalgia Lane. I'm going back 45 years ago, more maybe. Not quite 50 I think, but uh, certainly at least 45 years ago. And uh, anyway, there's a lot of history attached to Park Bridge. And I'll show you a little bit of that. There used to be an old ironworks there and uh, in fact they, they, they built the, they made the rivets for the Eiffel Tower and the Sydney Harbour Bridge and I think the Titanic all sorts of stuff it was a big major ironworks and obviously it's no longer there but uh, there's quite there's a museum there or at least there was and there was a little 
a little sort of visitor centre and there's some of the, the mill still there or the foundry and um, well, I'll show you in a bit there's, and it's quite a nice little nature trail and um, just a lovely place to sort of spend an afternoon really So this here was the old post office where I was telling you before where we used to get our sweets and uh, take them to the old mine and the old mine's that way, I'll take you to there in a minute but this was the entrance to the old post office and uh, well, how things change, how times change There's the, uh, the Heritage Centre, just up there, and there's a, a lovely terry street called Dingle Terrace and another little street called Dean Terrace and in fact I used to live up there, I'll show you where it is, I used to live uh, on uh, ten houses it was a row of ten houses and they were all uh, old um, like um, miners cottages, you know and uh, the Grade 2 listed and I lived there about Oof, let me think now, late late 90s, so probably 24 years ago, 25, probably 25 years ago, so a quarter of a century ago. I'm starting to show me age now, aren't I? Anyway, I don't think I'm doing too bad for 55. Yeah. Still suck the beers. Right, I'll show you a little bit more. This could be one of those squeaky gates. If you know, you know. Oh, nothing. I think it could be enjoy the silence, Depeche Mode. Adam will know about that and uh, all the subscribers to his channel. I think it's called um, Wherever, Whatever, something like that. Anyway. Never mind. I'll put it I'll put it on the on the thing here now. Right. He knows what I'm on about. You know, you know. So this is the uh, the old heritage centre, which doesn't look to be very open, does it really? I'll let say main entrance up there. We'll see. Um Yeah, the Lees family. There's uh, Dingle Terrace. I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, yeah, I don't think uh, it's very open. No, well, that's Dingle Terrace up there. In fact, um, I know there's a girl, who, an actress who used to live on here. In fact, I, I've used one of these. I nearly bought one. I think it was the on the right hand side in the middle somewhere. Yeah. Again the sort of mid to late nineties. Nice little street really. Dingle Terrace. Doesn't look like there's a one of those heart attack things in here. No not even a glass or four box, nothing. You'd have thought a few bucks, something else. There's one sold up there. Yeah. So now I'm heading up to Dean Terrace and uh, there's an old school 
like old school library stroke school thing up here building Victorian era and uh, when I lived up here it was kind of used as the, for the locals and there was a little bar in there and a full-size snooker table and uh, I used to go in there now and again so I'm gonna go and see if it's still open and I think uh, that's it there, you can just see the building there, let's see let's see if it's open, might get a pint I don't think I'm going to get a pint in here Aye. this is it there's a light on yeah. There we go, try it door. Nah. Bugger. Thought I might have got a pint in there. Bit of reminiscing. Oh well. So this is Dean Terrace. Again, I looked at a couple of houses on here, I didn't actually view any on here. I viewed one on Dingle Terrace, not along here. I ended up buying one just up there and to the left, up the road a bit, called Ten Houses, and I'll show you in a minute. But it's lovely around here, it's very peaceful and a bit rural. Got cows in the fields and sort of nice neighbours. Ooh, look at that, that's looking rather ripe, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Is it not a bit early for blackberries? Oh, there's another one there, look. You might be getting a bit bored now, but I'm not. Any more? Oh, look at that one! So here we are. We're coming up to ten houses. Oh, and there's, there's Hartstead Pike. I don't know if you can see that. Just on the top of that hill there. I'm going to be walking up there in a bit. But here's ten houses. I think, like I said, I used to live here. I think I was here for about, I don't know, three years. And uh, paid 40, forty-three thousand pounds for it in nineteen ninety-eight. Yeah, and I lived at number five. Obviously, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to ten. And uh, yeah, where's number five? There it is. With bench outside front. Well, they've all got benches now, haven't they? Never used to. Yeah, number five. There it is. Oops. Yeah, I used to live there. Yeah. You had two parking spots, which mine was in the middle. I think it must have been four, five and six. So that was the, the two parking spots were here. There it was. Number five, ten houses, yeah. There was lesbians at number four. <laughs> I think we had lesbians at number, I don't know, I'm sure there were lesbians on one side. Yeah, I think there was lesbians, there was two lots of lesbians, maybe, but anyway. Right, I'm going to take you to the old mine now, where I used to have me, my sweets with Richard when I were a kid. Proper little trip down Nostalgia Lane, this isn't it? Memory Lane. It says Alt Lane, but it's Memory Lane, really. Yeah. Ten houses. Mmm, another one!
They are, do you know what? They're delicious. You want to try them? I thought it was too early, but well, they're the lovely. Ones. The black ones are lovely. Oh, right. See, look, there's, there's one there, one there. Five, what, five, hey? five between. No, I'll tell you what, try one. Well, we're just talking to that cyclist then. What a really interesting bloke. He was eight, he's 80 and he's from Holland. He's a Dutchman and he's been living here for 55 years. And he's just applied for his British passport. And then I carry on walking after I said, I've had a really good chat with him. And then I'm walking back down Alt Lane. And look, this is a bit bizarre. A Dutch car. I don't think it's his. Life's bizarre. Yeah, life can be very unpredictable, can't it? But you've got to get out, you've got to get out, you see. Because if you just sit in four walls, inside four walls, then you don't want to get run over on these lanes, tell you. Yeah, um. You know, things can happen if you get out. You meet people. Broadens your horizons and all that, doesn't it? Your wits are on like me now, talking to yourself. People probably look and think he's a bit weird, but who cares? Huh? Life's for living, isn't it? What a nice place, look at that. Now we're just in the old four section, 10 houses. Forty-three thousand pounds in nineteen ninety-eight, I think it was. I think it's worth about one hundred and fifty now, probably more. I bet it's worth two hundred grand now. Should have kept all of it, shouldn't I? Oh well. You live and learn, don't you? Just coming down to old mine, actually. Now this down here, this is uh, leading to the old mine. Yeah, it's quite quite a bit of history down here, you know. You might like this bit. You might not. Well, the old post office is just, just over there. So we're kind of, hopefully you've kind of got your whereabouts or your, your bearings as such. So um, anyway, there's a bit, a bit of uh, ironwork stuff here, look, I'll show you. Look at that. Nice little benches. Look at this. See? Ooh. Glasgow. It's obviously some kind of hammer type thing, wasn't it? Like a piston type. <coughs> yeah. Maybe it's where they did the rivets. The Sydney Harbour Bridge and the Eiffel Tower and the, the Titanic and that. left any have they? Hey? Right. There's an old bridge over here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. I think it's up here. It's a bit overgrown actually. Used to do a bit of climbing up here when I were a kid. A bit of scrambling. Up sheer cliffs. Oh here it is, look. Can't believe I used to do this, you know. It's probably about nine, ten year old. And uh I used to climb up this sheer rock face without ropes. Look, my brother used to chuck rocks off top of it. I could have fallen to my death. Look, look, somebody's camping here. So there's a barbecue going. Yeah, I used to climb up this. I used to scramble up it. I think we'd go up that section. I might, do you know what? One of these days, I might do it just for a laugh. The nostalgia. Or maybe I should do it now. What do you reckon?
Yeah. Maybe. Let's think about it. Clearly somebody's living here. Yeah, and brought the beach towel. Look at that. Oh, terrible that, isn't it? Look at these shoes and everything. Terrible. Fuck. Oh. Well, that is dreadful. Why? Mm. Yeah, so it wasn't all this crap here when I used to come as a kid. But uh, what I'd do, if I remember rightly, I would uh, sort of go up that bit there, along that ledge, then up there. That tree wasn't there then. And then I think I'd either walk along there and somehow scrabble to the top. I might have to do it. I, you, know, I'm, you know what? I'm not going to do it today because I'm not really appropriately dressed. I might put some scruffs on. Um, got a nice new clobber on, you see. Look at these. Rohan pants. And, uh, well, a bit snobby stuff, isn't it, really? But anyway. Yeah, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to come back and just do that. Hmm. Right, let me show you this mine. Well, this was the old bridge. And uh, as you can see, they fenced it off. Why couldn't they just maintained it all? You know, like, it was part of the olden way as well. So what, I mean, look at that. That's Thameside Council for you. Angela Rayner. Champagne socialists. Uh. Fuck. I bet I can, I, I'm going to go anyway. Come. You know what? Eh? Uh, Look, see. This is the old bridge. Yeah. A lot of points of that, was it? It's even easy to get. It's a load of shit. I mean, how much does this cost? This fence. Surely they could, rather than put the fence up, could they not have just sort of sorted this out? I don't think it would have took much, would it? Eh? I suppose they got the probably got the surveyors in, had their uh, cup of tea, big meeting, thousands just for the meeting. And then, uh, you know, scratch the reds and gone. Well, you know, we'll just put a fence up either side and stop people. Oh well. You can't get political, can you? You just let it go, on. you? have got to let it go. Bit of zen and all that. Oh well, right, let me see if I can get out here. I'll just climb over. See, what you just squeeze through here. See? Whoopsie. Looks all right to me. There's big steel in there, isn't there? Big steel. Only a case of replacing timbers, weren't it? And they put, you know, I tell you what, unbelievable. You know, I mean, I'm not a structural engineer, right? But, you know, fire, eh? Right. More paths going that way. Right, let me show you where this mine is. There it is, look, see? Look at that. Yeah, he's come here when I was a kid. With Richard eating my sweets. Now he sit on on big window thing there. Look, here it is. Look at that. Hey, fence round it and all now. See, never used to be a fence round it when I was a kid. But it's not changed a bit. It's just same. Look, 
We used to sit up there or in there. I think we used to sit on there really. And just basically ponder about and, and eat us sweets. Good times. Right, I might just sit on there for, some, for nostalgia. I only had two pints ages ago. I think they're still, they're still sort of uh, deal. Look at that. Yeah, they're still, they're still taking their effect. Look, look at big cliffs up there as well. It's a lovely valley, this really. If you get a chance to come down here and uh, do so, it's lovely. So, so many little walks. Hi. Right, I'm going to go and sit on that wall just for nostalgia, for, for memory lane, trip down memory lane. Right, I'm in. Scaled the fence. Hopefully I avoided the security. Oh shit! Bloody prickles! At least it's not those bloody stinging nettles. Right, how am I going to get over there now? It's a lot more overgrown than I remember. Um, yeah. Let's have a look here now. Uh, hell. Uh, uh. Right. Well, I was going to sit in there, but I think yeah, we used to sit. We used to sit in that window there. Look, still there. Yeah, I'm gonna go there, I think. Let's jump down here. And then, let's hope there's no old shaft. That's the uh, shit. I fall down there, do I? Can't see a thing now. Right. I can get round here. Alright, that's it, yeah. Right. Oh! Right. I'll have to send this to Richard. Still junior school. Certainly in the 1970s. Probably about 1975. Something like that. Yeah. I can just see us now. Eating our sweets, sat on this wall, in this archway, yeah, under this archway, not a care in the world. Nearly 50 years ago, nearly half a century ago. Right, we're going to head towards uh, Hartshead Pike now. It's an old uh, stone tower on a hill, overlooks Ashton and Mosley. The 
decisions, decisions. I've always been a bit indecisive. What do you reckon? I'm going to stay low. You take the high road, I'll take the low road. I'll be out of pipe before thee. Well, if I scale this, we could be alright, I don't know. Um, let's go over it. Right. Maybe I should have took the high road. Look at this. Oh. Oof. Oh. I can see some walkers. Oh, look at this plunge pool. I didn't know this were here. Oh, wow. You would have wild stuff in here, couldn't you? More crap. Oh, it's fairly clean. Maybe. Maybe I should do a wild camp around here. Again, for nostalgia reasons. So this is the River Medlock. So it goes through the Medlock Valley, goes through Daisy Nook, and uh, I think eventually it leads into Manchester, or I don't know, it, it probably leads. Do you know what? I don't really know. I'll have to check that out. Oh, let's see. River Medlock. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I've just had a cheeky look, and uh, apparently the Medlock River lead. It, well, it goes into Manchester, and then it eventually it leads into the um, Bridgewater Canal and then the Manchester Ship Canal. So eventually it'll lead out into, well, to Liverpool, to the um, Irish Sea. So yeah, I don't know where the source is. Maybe I need to check that as well. I'll come back in a sec. Where is the source of the Medlock? I once did a video on the source of the Tame, the River Tame, the mighty River Tame, but uh, the Medlock, well, I don't know, I'm, I'm unsure. I'm gonna check, I'll see you in a minute. I'm back. Well, according to the map, it says that it, it sort of starts, the source of the Medlock is kind of near Moorside in Oldham or west of Delft. So maybe that's another little trip. There you go. The Oldham Way. This is how you walk the Oldham Way, you ready? No, nowhere. God knows. See you in a minute. Hey, how you doing, eh? How you doing, hey? How you doing? Yeah. Hello. Well, you can see it's just like a, a mesh, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. Hey. How are you doing? Yeah. See you later. So the Oldham Way is, I think it's about 40 miles in total, so it's another little walk I'm going to have to do. I don't think you could do it in a day, you probably could, couldn't you, but if you split it up and do a wild camp in between, a 20 and a 20, or a 25 and a 15, yeah, another one. So that's where I'm heading, Hartsford Pike. Quite a bit of history. It was an old beacon 
is to set a, a fire going to warn the locals of invaders or that's what I believe anyway, I don't know, there used to be a cafe in the top of it years ago it's been sealed off for many years my mother remembers going in when she was a kid in the cafe bit seems to have lost the path is that it over there? I don't know possibly don't charge me and if you do make it just a couple of quid hey Thought you'll get through there, will you? No, I'm not saying you're a fat cow or anything. No. Where am I going to go now? Can I get past there? Hey, are you let me past? Without charging me. Is it a tall path? Eh? Huh? Oh. Huh? Hmm. Right then. How did you get through there? Hey? You need to get it back up there. All, all, the, all your mates are up there, look. Look, look, your mates are up there. Well, you, just, you, just, you just want a bit of time on your own, don't you? You just want a bit of time on your own. I've got a partner who snores like that. Mm. <sighs> what, you want me to come back? Bit of company? Alright then. Should I have gone the other way? The other way? Yeah? Yeah? Is it the other way? Sorry, but uh, it is the other way. Can, can you just move out of the way, please? I need to come through. Go on. Go on. Move. Move. Go on. Go on. Eh? Go on. I need to come through. Yeah? Are you going to move out of the way? Go on, then. Go on. Go on. Back off. Back. Go on. Go on. That's it. Go on. I need to go up there. That's me path, go on, 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 come on, come on, come on. Right, oh you're joking aren't you? That's the path. You're having a laugh, aren't you? What are you all doing in here? Hey? Oh. Oh. That reminds me, I've got to get some yoghurt on my home. Maybe a bottle of milk. Uh, don't fucking kick me. All you, right? Quite fresh that, isn't it? <whistles> Feeling a bit sluggish. Where's that pub? That was the old pike, 1751. This one, 1853, I think, by 1856, one or two, I'll have to check. That used to be a pub years ago. Right, good pub it were, farmer. He'd sit in his front room. Okay, I'm showing me age, aren't I? Good view over Greenfield, that's uh, in fact that's Upper Mill over there and dust storms and everything. Alfin Pike. There's the pike. That's a pike.
So actually when I said that was the pub where you could get a pint earlier, it wasn't. It was this one. Yeah, with this one. The old Collier's. You go in there for a pint and sit in his front room. Little serving hatch. If you wanted to set your pint up there, you had to give it in a plastic pint or something. I can't remember now. It was, so it's going back to mid 80s. Aye. Collier's Balm. Collier's Pub. possible to walk past a pub and not go in for a pint. Obviously not. walking into Sailor Bridge now from Lusley. This is Arley's Lane, Arley's Road and um, well, I might have a little beer in the Buffy Bar at uh, Sailor Bridge train station, one of my favourites. So um, next time you see me I'll be having a beer in the Buffy Bar. See you in a bit. This is the end of my little um, walk down memory lane. I'm now on Staley Bridge train station platform. Buffy Bar's just down there. I have to end it with a pint. Can't walk past a Buffy Bar without having a pint. Right, well, thanks for watching. You might see me again, just going like that. See you soon.